Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Iron Mike Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson names the current boxer that he would be afraid to fight. Hmm. Heavyweight great Mike Tyson was known for being both feared and fearless in his boxing ring, but there's one active fighter that would make the baddest man on the planet uneasy. He said David Benavidez is undefeated in a 26-fight career, boasting 23 knockouts. He's a two-time champion in the super middleweight division, losing the belt once for having cocaine in his system and the second time for missing weight before the defense. He's widely regardless, regarded by fans as one of the biggest threats to Saul Canelo Alvarez, undisputed status at 168 pounds. And Iron Mike Tyson praised the Mexican monster uh, to ES News, admitting that even he would be afraid to step through the ropes with him. And this is what Tyson had to say. <clears throat> he said, he's so underrated, but so polarizing. I'd be afraid to fight him too. If I was in that division, no one even has a chance against him. It appears to be, I'm talking from facts. Benavidez beats Plant. He could beat anybody, everybody. My money's on Benavidez until he gets beat. And then if he gets beat, I'm still with him. It's his attitude. He was a little heavy, fat kid, and he wanted to prove himself to the world. The greatest fighters in the world are the most insecure fighters. Those are the words of Mike Tyson and let me counterpunch. First off, uh, the devil's in the details. Pay attention to what Mike said. He didn't say I would be afraid to fight him. He said even I would be afraid to fight him if I was in his division. That's a totally different thing. Not the baddest man on the planet coming in at 215 pounds or 205 or however amount of pounds that he came in and fighting the guy that he's talking about. No, he was acclimating himself down to if he was in that weight class, he would be afraid to fight him because of the height, the speed, the power, the tenacity and everything else that he thinks of David Benavides, the Mexican monster. <laughs> you know, so um, I just want to keep it. Uh, real, okay, and uh, break that down for you guys. However, it just shows you that Mike Tyson is, um, he's attentive, attentively looking at all the fighters now. You know, he is praising the fighters. He's doing exactly what the fighters of yesteryear supposed to do to the current fighters of today. Give them praise, give them encouragement, you know, help them build confidence. You know what I mean? Uh, give them support. That's what Mike's all about. That's why Mike, when he says something, you know, that's who he's putting his money on. He's putting his money in. And it also shows you that even though you were once upon a time the baddest man on the planet, the youngest heavyweight champion ever, you still can be a fan of other fighters that can do similar things or less. So it's a good thing for Mike Tyson showing this his appreciation to David Benavidez. I think whatever he saw with David, you know, he um, he's wowed him, definitely. But from coming from Mike Tyson, though, that's a huge order and that's a great praise. And, you know, I hope he doesn't get too proud because, you know, Caleb Plant is someone you don't want to mess with. And just because someone doesn't have a high knockout percentage don't mean they won't knock your face off. You better ask Mr. Durrell and you better ask Uskateki because both of those guys had a far better chance statistically to knock out Caleb Plant or to stop or drop Caleb Plant before Caleb Plant had that opportunity to stop or drop them. So take that and put that under your hat. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Mike Tyson saying that he would be afraid of David Benavidez if he was in that division. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.